Today we're going to time, this is showing the timing of the Rodeo 700 or the UTV 700. What you'll do is the Woodruff key right here will be in perfect line with this line mark on the side of the block. about half of an inch line. That needs to be in direct line with the wood drift key on the crankshaft. After you get those two marked up and lined up, you'll take the side cover and you'll see these lines right here on the side of this rotor. Okay? Take your side cover install your side cover along with the gasket too this is just to show you how to line it up okay you'll have this sight glass window here as in here inside you can see the line therefore so if you don't have to take off the cover and you're just doing a top end to time it you need to make sure this line right here is inside the sight cover right here to start your timing. As you do the timing, the timing mark will be just the dash only. The firing mark will be the two dashes with the line in between it. Make sure you go off the bottom one, which will be the dash only. Now we're going to go over the timing of the uh, cam gear to the cam itself before installation into the cylinder head. When you do this, you take the timing mark in the inside of the cam that operates the compression release and you time it to the sprocket. Make sure that when you're going to do this that the mark is lined up with this hole. And then as you install it, open the compression releases up Open the compression release up. Nice. Line it up with the holes. Then turn the cam over. Check to make sure that this little limp, this compression release engages and disengages. Now we're going to go to installing the cam with the cam gear already installed into the cylinder head itself. And before you do this, just make sure, again, that the cam compression release opens and that the dot's at the top. And when you go to time the cam, you have to make sure that the compression release is facing away from the uh, engine block itself. Then press pause and then... Now to installing the cam into the head. When you install the cam in the head, make sure you keep that compression dot still away from the motor block. And at the same time, lining the marks up in, on the side of the cam perfectly straight with the cylinder head itself. Again. 
All right, after you install the, the cam gear with the cam, and you have it completely timed, your two marks on the inside of the cam gear, one right here, and then there's another one on this side. Should be perfectly straight with the uh, with the the rocker box surface, and then when that's perfectly straight, then the compression release, the uh, timing mark, and the inside of the cam should be perf in perfect line with your crankshaft key and the mark that's on the case itself.